Make a mama liga. Make a mama liga. Look at the mama liga. I'm just gonna. Ouch! Hello world! Today I'm gonna make Zama together with you, my followers. Because I love Moldova, because I love everything which is related to us, very traditional, we're gonna cook Zama at Kotlon. I mean, right here. We're gonna make some fire. So, we brought what we need to make some fire. We're gonna cook in here. It's quite old, you see, but it's still very good for cooking. <sighs> good luck to me. I smoke fuck your llama, please. <laughs> Oh, I'm the smell of this place right now. It's incredible. It's beautiful for me because it means childhood. It means everything which reminds me when I was a little child. So now the first step, we boil some water in this big, big chowun. Informational break. So, for a very tasty uh, chicken soup, you need a homegrown chicken. That's very important because it's a huge difference when you buy it in the markets. The taste is different. It's like slightly not traditionally tasty. So, um, right now, I uh, I see that the water is already boiling. So I'm just gonna ouch. I'm just gonna add the meat inside. You see, I have this. Uh, chicken which is grown right here at my um, in my village at my granny's house so we're just gonna add the meat inside to boil that's the second step let's say now meanwhile the meat is boiling inside you see we separate this kind of foam which is uh, on the surface so you better do that as well <laughs> We went to the market and on the way there I just observed a house which looks great for a vlog like mine. So I don't know if I'm gonna manage to have a sneak peek inside. I mean this one. Which also looks very traditional and it's <laughs> it's empty. Like others in Moldova, it's not like a big news. I um, have no idea if I have the right to get inside. But like, if no one lives here, maybe I have a chance to be a bit naughty to get inside. the old design. The windows are open and it's empty. Look at this beauty. Oh my god. I really want to get inside. Oh, the, <laughs> the door, by the way, is not that old. Look, sort of, look at this side of the house. Look at this side of the house. I can still feel the smell of animals in here. Look, I'm totally sure they had some animals in here. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Look, look. Look at the little window that they had in here. And probably the animals just had a sneak peek outside through this door in here. And I see the church for this window. I hope no one is gonna 
<laughs> judge us for getting inside. Look at the roof. It's done. No one is loose here. I wish I had a house like this, but in a good condition, not in a very bad like this one. Look at the stairs. Yeah. But I'm totally sure this house has like more than more than 70 years, I think. Maybe even more. I don't like the place, the location of this house because it's just next to the cemetery right here. And the church, but anyway, maybe someone likes it. So when the meat is almost ready, we add some vegetables. So we have onion here, carrots, uh, we have sweet chili, we have uh, tomatoes. I mean, we have everything almost that is in the garden, made in Moldova, grown in Moldova, without any genetically modifications. So it's quite uh, echo and tasty on top of that. And we add this cimbro, I have no idea what's the name in English of this, but it just gives to this soup a an amazing taste. You just cannot imagine. And as far as I know, uh, I put some carta, okay? no. uh, we add um, one just small um, uh, potato, but it's just uh, it's like a choice. So if you want, you add it. If you're not, you don't add it. But it's very tasty. Mm. The most important part is sour borscht, because zama, guys, if it's not sour. It's just the soup, it's not the zama. That's why we add sour borscht. We mix it, it already has a really nice texture. We add some more, we taste it up until it's sour enough. Let's have a taste, check. Second mm. important part of making zama is adding some homemade pastas called tokmaj. So ta -da -da -dum, ta -da -da -dum, ta -da -da we made it with flour and fresh eggs. Oh. The cherry on top are the green stuff. So we have petrongel, we have leuchtan, and all of this we're gonna add at the end of everything when we actually just get off the fire everything. So we added the taste is incredible. You, you cannot believe it. Hey, the smell and the taste in the end of it is exceptional. It's, it's just amazing. Follow every single step, guys. Otherwise, you're not gonna have the Zama at the end. Oh. Gonna believe, guys, but we are doing two in one. We're gonna make mamaliga today. So, boiling water, we use corn flour, and we just mix with this wooden spoon, which is very nice. And you add it until it gets enough texture to, to get it harder. Don't forget to put some salt. And ta-da! Ready! You see how easy it is to make a mamaliga? They're always like asking me, make a mamaliga, make a mamaliga. Look at the mamaliga. Look, look. <laughs> so Zama is ready. Mamaliga is ready. Brunza is ready. Enjoy it guys.